Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to um, record and edit your video um, or your instructional video. So as you can see, you have your slides already uploaded. So here are my slides. I can click through them, kind of get a feel for what I'm going to say for each one um, before I start recording. When you're ready to record, you just hit the record button and um, start talking, start put using your tools, whatever it is that you want to use. Um, these tools and this like projects, whiteboard and this stuff up here, that will not show up in your video. The only thing that's going to show up in your video are the actual um, uh, slides that you have uploaded or whatever's on your like whiteboard. So I'm going to start recording and then you'll be able to see how that works and how to edit. In this video, you'll learn about creating an effective instructional videos. So you can see now um, that I pressed or that I stopped my recording. You can see that this little kind of timeline of my recording uh, popped up and this is where you can do your editing and I'm kind of going to go through some of these editing tools with you. So as you can see, I'll pull it back all the way to the beginning. Uh, my sound just came up here. So I'm going to go ahead and play this so you can get an idea of um, how to start editing. So if you um, had like your drawing tablet, you could have been writing while you were talking, um, highlighting, um, like I did, but you can see, so I like, I don't like that I waited until after I talked to highlight. So one of the things that I might edit out is if you click here, that's where the highlighting kind of starts. So if I click and hold it, uh, the little delete will pop up and it'll just delete that writing. So I'm going to click that and now that highlighting is gone. And I'm going to go ahead and click it here and I'm going to delete that too. So now my highlighting is gone, but my recording is still there. So that's kind of what that little button does. This is the selection tool. So basically you can click this and then you can select um, from like here to here. I want to get rid of that because it's just dead air, right? So I could click the selection tool, whatever I've highlighted, if I click this button, it's gonna cut it and compact it. So I'm gonna click that and now that's gone. Um, so then when I play it, you'll see there's less kind of dead air. And now I see, oh, I have all this dead air here at the end. So again, I can drag the red line kind of tells you where you're at in the timeline. So I'm going to drag the red line to kind of there. This one um, actually deletes everything from the red line to the end. So you only want to do that if you have like nothing after this. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. So again, it's going to it's going to delete from where the red line is to the end. So now that's all gone. So I've basically edited it down and shortened it. So now when I play it, there's less dead air um, and I've gotten rid of that. So again, that's kind of like the basics of your editing tools that you have. Um, the cool thing or the part that I really like about explain everything is that you don't have to be ready for every single slide all at once. So this recording is only on this slide. Now, when I go to my next slide, you see it kind of starts over. So you have time to really think um, as you go through each slide, you have time to think about what it is that you're going to say, what are you going to highlight, what are you going to underline um, before you actually start recording. Then once all of your recordings are done per slide, when you do export it, it's going to create it into a nice seamless video um, and you won't even know that you stopped for each of those. I do recommend that, of course, you go through these kinds of things on your own. Um, make sure that you are um, comfortable using these tools. I would play around with them and play with the deleting and the compacting and all of that stuff. Um, on your own before you actually try to make your first video so you have a better idea. This button is kind of, um, there's different modes you can do. So you can insert or you can overwrite or you can mix. Just keep it on mix. Overwrite basically goes over something you've already recorded. I think it's easier just to delete it 
and just do it again. If you have any questions, please reach out. Um, make sure to play around with these things and um, good luck.